Hey guys, Blake with Texas Bee Supply here. So today I wanna to show you guys how to do a mite test. Now this is probably one of the most important things to learn how to do and to practice regularly in all of beekeeping. Varroa mites will kill hives quicker than almost anything else. And the hard thing is you really can't see them. There's no really good way other than doing a test to tell what your varroa mite levels are. Now usually varroa mite levels peak in the summer months. So usually late June, early July is when varroa mite levels peak. And so that's the absolute most critical time of year to be doing testing and to be treating. I usually recommend testing three to four times every year, usually in March, usually in late June, early July. Again, after your treatment is done. So that's usually um, early August or so that your treatment's concluded. So you do a test to make sure your treatment worked. And then again in October-ish to make sure the levels didn't rise again. So doing a test is really critical. We've got this really easy um, Varroa Easy Check that we sell in the store. It makes it really, really simple. Um, and we've already got our alcohol in here. And so you can see we've got a little bit of alcohol in the bottom and we've got this little basket and it actually has a little fill line inside that basket so you know how many bees to put in. It's usually about a half of a scoop um, in, in this if you wanna scoop them. But what I like to do is I like to get a sheet of newspaper or paper, and then I'm gonna shake bees onto that piece of paper, fold it up and dump them in the cup. So I'll, I'll show you guys that in a minute. But as far as where to get the bees from to do this test, you want them out of the brood nest area. And you wanna, the most important thing is making sure the queen is not on the frame that you're going to get your bees off of to do this test. We're gonna usually get about three or 400, about 300 bees is our goal. Now, thankfully we don't have to count them. That's where that uh, fill line comes in really handy on that uh, test kit. But uh, I'm gonna pull a frame out of the brood nest and I'm gonna carefully look for the queen on this frame. Make sure she isn't on here because unfortunately when we do these tests, the bees do, uh, they do die. And we don't want our queen in there obviously. So I don't see the queen on here. So what I'm going to do is we're gonna come over here. We're gonna take the lid off of our sample jar. Get it ready to dump bees in. It's okay if this takes a couple of tries, but I'm gonna shake the bees onto this piece of paper and then I'm gonna dump them into our sample cup. And you gotta move pretty fast if the bees fly. Now I didn't quite get enough in there, so I'm gonna put the cap on and I'm gonna get another frame. Again, just check those frames, make sure the queen isn't on there. If your queen is marked or if you've gotten pretty good at finding queens, then it, it's not a bad idea to find the queen elsewhere in the hive just to make sure she's not on this frame. So don't see her on here. So I'm gonna shake these bees off, there we go. I'm almost to my fill line, so I don't need too many more. There we go, that's enough. Now I'm gonna put the lid back on. Now I'm just gonna swirl this alcohol in there with the bees for about 60 seconds. And the idea is what's happening is that alcohol washes all those varroa mites off of the bees into the liquid so that we can see the varroa mites. Like I said, the worst thing about this test is that it does, it does kill the bees and that's unfortunate, but it's one of the only safe and effective ways to actually get an accurate test. There are other testing methods out there. A common one is the, we call it the powdered sugar method, um, where you do something very similar, but with powdered sugar and it doesn't kill the bees. The problem with that test is that it doesn't actually work very well all the time. It can give you a rough indicator um, of your varroa mite levels, but this gives you a very, very accurate 
um, uh, test. So typically speaking, if I see more than two or three varroa mites in this test, then I, I want to treat. If I see one to two, then I usually will hold off another three or four weeks and test again. Uh, but usually if I see more than two or three, then, then I, I want to do a test. In the, a lot of the literature, um, it talks about seven is the threshold. Um, that's pretty outdated. Um, you know, really more than, more than two or three, and I, I want to get a treatment on the high. Okay, so we've got that alcohol flushed over all these bees. And so now what we're going to do is it's as simple as holding this jar up and you can look from the bottom um, and count your mites. And they're actually surprisingly easy to see. And so I'm gonna hold that up. And hopefully you can see in the video, but it's actually clear as day. You can just see those little brown mites um, floating on the bottom of that jar. And it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five. It looks like we've got six, six furrow mites. And so based on that, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, treat this hive. So that's how you do a mite test. Um, if you want to see how to treat a hive or other to, how to identify other signs of mites, feel free to check out our website. We've got several other videos on it. Thanks guys.